Well, um, this next one is yours, Obscure Gamers. You go ahead. All right. So we re we recently <laughs> we recently brought up on how oh man how many casts ago was that two or three? Yeah. I can't remember. But anyways, we brought up that the obscure gamers uh, put up a Kofi page to uh, to get funds to uh, be able to buy this lot of 75 Saturn prototypes and beta builds. And luckily, they were successful. They were successful in that and were able to buy all the builds and start dumping them. And uh, uh, apparently, all 75 are on Mega that upload site. And right. On for and right now they're working at with a archive.org to get the rest of them on there. I think last time I checked, there's 40 or 50 of them. It mm -hmm. might be... That was a couple days ago, so maybe they might have got all of them on here by now, but mm -hmm. I haven't checked. But uh, from what I've seen, right out the gate, people are finding differences, like uh, like uh, Tungara from... Uh, was it the clockworknights.org found some differences in the... Uh, the the Virtual Fighter 2 build, right? There's a lot of model differences, which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah, we only got this one shot, but subsequently he's posted a bunch of other model comparisons, and so yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. And that's just one of 70, 75 discs. Imagine right. what the others might hold in differences. Exactly, and I mean, you uh, know, um, yeah. sorry, these are, these are on Hidden Palace, or no? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, they're they're on the archive.org. But they're in the process of they're in the process of yeah. uploading and hosting all that stuff. But they have to they have a process and they have to like have data for each one, you know. But that's cool. Yeah, but yeah, it's seventy five builds. Uh, unfortunately, they they were unable. They had some issues with pinholes and data rot <laughs> for a couple of them. Yeah, I heard about and that. And actually, one golf game they're they're unable to save. So sadly, that one's gone. But apparently, it wasn't that great. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good was it uh, was it virtual that, golf but... virtual golf or I, I forget which one yeah it wasn't I don't remember to be honest they just specified a golf game it was a released game though I mean the, um you know I, yeah. I know that I know that folks over in like the Sega Extreme uh server are uh, you know particularly excited to f try to find any kind of like um extra information on these discs relating to development you know any kind of like tools or any any cues that that might um be helpful in you know um that's that's one of the things that they're possibly looking for maybe uh maybe tools or things that were left on the disc um that's my understanding is that uh it that, that it could be helpful but um but yeah even from a archival standpoint and just like the history it's interesting to go through and just kind of see where they were in development at what time you know Exactly, and it's cool seeing all those differences, seeing how it evolved from from one the one year to another. Mm -hmm. Like like how I went over the the, the Match Night Rare at this disc. But That's the, right. Uh, Trekkies is Trekkies is saying that it was it was Pebble Beach, but it was the final review copy. Oh really? Okay. So I, I think I think that's not really too much of a loss, but it it still sucks though. <laughs> yeah, I mean they've got to be fair. Hidden Palace already has a couple uh, Pebble Beach. Uh, uh, protos, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's nice to be able to fill in all those gaps. Um, and it does suck when something's literally lost to time, you know, and, and that's, um, I don't know how much of that was rot and how much of that was just the seller had them stacked on a spindle and shipped them that way. And then you had like scratches in the data layer or holes, in, uh, pinholes in the data layer that sucks yeah, when they do other... that. Yeah, from what I understand, it actually wasn't the seller. Apparently, it was just over time, and it was the just people before that where he got it from. Yeah. So I think that the seller did the best he could, and mm -hmm. he saved a bunch of them. But sadly, I guess over time, you know, these discs are thrown. You know, they're not really that great of quality discs. Right. Yeah. So you know, things yep. will get lost over time. So. But hey, we have what we have, so I guess we should be thankful in that regards. Definitely, and we're thankful to everyone who. Uh, went ahead and you know supported this project with uh, with their exactly. hard-earned money. You know that's uh, that's always great when you see that happen. You know because then that means it didn't end up going on eBay and ending up with like a private seller. You know or a private uh, collection or whatever. So yeah, that's and, great. And just and just putting post uh, or sorting these discs out and selling them for a higher profit by itself. Exactly. But yeah, no, it's it's all good. Uh, hopefully, we get more of these, and we'll find more of these builds that were lost and get them going. 